Nothing in biology makes sense without understanding natural selection. Darwin's insight and understanding gives us a wonderfully simple way of explaining every characteristic for every species. Without understanding natural selection, we cannot really explain much about living things. All we're able to do is to describe them. The great thing is that for such an important and groundbreaking idea, it really is so simple. This video will explain natural selection, looking at the observations Darwin made and the inferences he drew from these. It will also look at how new species come into existence and how they, in the end, cease to exist. To begin with, let's look at natural selection. Charles Darwin noticed the following things about every species he came across during his long voyage around the world between 1831 and 1836. Firstly, he saw that all species overproduced. This means that far more offspring are born than survive to reproduce themselves. Take the number of acorns produced by an oak tree during its life, for example, or the number of tadpoles produced by a single pair of frogs each spring. The vast majority of these individuals will die before they are able to reproduce themselves. This, Darwin said, is what creates competition and a struggle for existence. Darwin also saw that the individuals within a species all vary. Some acorns are larger than others. Some cheetahs can run faster than others. Some polar bears are better insulated by their fur than others. Darwin also recognised that much of this variation was inherited. Individuals are similar to their parents. Darwin suggested that the differences between individuals, the variation within a species, gave some individuals a greater chance of survival than others. In the struggle for existence, the better adapted individuals would be the ones that survive. Survival of the fittest, in other words. And because this variation is inherited, when those better adapted individuals did reproduce, their offspring would have the same beneficial adaptations. Therefore, more of the next generation would have that adaptation. Over time, the species would change or evolve. Individuals not well adapted would die off without reproducing, so that those traits would not be passed on. We can now explain this variation and inheritance in terms of genes. We can use this model to explain any feature of any living species. For example, how did cheetah become so fast? More cheetah are born than survive to reproduce themselves. Some cheetahs are faster than others. Those that are fast are more likely to be the ones that survive because they are able to hunt more prey and avoid starving. When they reproduce, they pass on the genes that made them fast to their offspring. More of the next generation are fast. Eventually, the individuals in a group will have changed so much from the original group that they are no longer recognised as being in the same species. This is called speciation. This could happen if a population becomes split up physically, for example by a mountain range or an ocean. The different conditions in the two areas will lead to natural selection selecting different traits within the two now separate groups. Eventually, the differences will be so great the individuals within these two groups would not be able to breed together, which means they are now different species. In contrast, if every member of a species dies before it's able to reproduce, then that species becomes extinct. No members of the species remain, and from that point the species is not able to return. This could happen if the environment changes too quickly for the species to evolve or if a disease or other event wipes out the entire population very rapidly. So natural selection is the one idea that unites everything in biology. It allows us to explain why living things are the way they are, and how they become adapted to their environments. Charles Darwin came up with the theory of natural selection, having noticed that species overproduced, and that individuals within the species show variation that was inherited. He said this led to a struggle for existence with the best adapted individuals surviving, reproducing and passing on the traits that made them successful to their offspring in the next generation. He called this survival of the fittest. Speciation is where a new species is created as a group of individuals develop so many differences to the original group that they can no longer breed together. Extinction 
is where every member of a species dies before they're able to reproduce, so that no individuals of that species remain.